guys, um, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to, to join me. Um, I'm going to tie a wee fly uh, called the Mulrenny Pig. Now, that's the wee pattern there. I'm just going to show you how to put it together. Very simple wee fly to tie. So the hook in the vise is a size 10 uh, Camazon B175. You can tie these down to as small as a 14, maybe even smaller. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 in black. So I'm just going to come in and start the thread behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run the thread down. Oops, it is it. And tell them past the point of the hook and remove the waist tag of thread. Now you can tie this wee pattern with or without a tail. I'm just going to tie it with a tail. So this is just a golden pheasant. A uh, craze feather that has been dyed a fluorescent yellow. Right, if I want the tail that long, it's more to my liking there on this wee pattern. And then just a couple of turns down the shank of the hook to catch in the tail. Just come back a turn there. And then I'm going to come in and trim this right about the length of the body. The rib, I'm going to use a beanie French. In extra small, the oval silver tinsel. That's just it in an extra small. I'll just offer this up to the hook. We'll just tie this in on the, on the way up now. You have a decision to make, so if you're tying this in on the way up and you don't want any lumps and bumps, you can put on a, a black floss body. yourself. I'm going to put on a dub body. On the way back down we're going to tie in some peacock sword. Just a, now you're probably looking you know, six, 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 seven, five or something like that. And we're going to tie this in on the way down. Then we're going to bring this over the back. So I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop and then pull this in, in as tight as you dare go and then we're just going to stretch it over the back and run our thread down, tying this in. Right, I'm going to come right down, have a wee check, see where you are. Just another turn of thread. I should do it. It's us there. Now I'm going to use a, a black traditional airy stubbing. And the name of this is called the Balandari Black. I can use black seals for, or any black dubbing that you've got. Or like I say, you can use black floss. Or even if you were using a UTC thread, the body could just be the, the thread. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to bring up my dubbing. Right, the whole way up the body, anything that wants to go forward, just come in and sweep it back. Right, bring up my rib first at this stage, and you're looking four turns of the oval silver tinsel up the body. Come in and catch this in, come in and throw away the excess. Then you can bring over your peacock sword. Over the back. A couple of turns will catch that in for you. Come in, trim away the excess. And the wing is just a um, hearse pheasant. That's the head, that's the complete head of a wee bird. But it's a lovely feather, this. I'm just looking at the tippet feather, much like a golden pheasant tippet. And then you're just looking to take enough off for a wing. You're not looking too much, in my opinion. Just looking at a small amount for the wing. After this up, I'm just going to bring the, the tips just coming into the, the tail. Just hold it here in my finger and thumb. Just going to come around with a pinching loop. 
couple of turns to secure that in. Now this will sit high. Will sit high just simply because of the the, the peacock sword back. Just trim that away. The head haggle. It's just a black hand. This is just an Indian hand haggle. Dyed black. And just stroke the fibers back to reveal the tip of the feather. Offer this up to the hook. Remember with a couple of turns, we come and fold the tip back. Bring your thread back up over the tip on the haggle. Then you can come in, locate the tip, you can break it away. And you're looking like break two turns of the the hand haggle. Should be sufficient on this wee fly. Or if you like the dress it more heavier, put another turn in. That's up to you. That's gonna do me there. I'm gonna follow this around with my thread. Couple of tight turns in. Right. Stem is just a wee bit too thick, so I'm just gonna trim it away. I'll just build up my head. Right. That's a handy wee fly to tie this. Then once you're happy with your arm, I'm just going to come in and throw in a wet finish. Put your thread nice and tight, come in, trim away the tan thread. Now I'll just come in and open up the, the hand hackle for you. Just don't want to rag our wee wing, so I'm just being careful there. Then I'll just come in and put on a coat of clear varnish. The first coat anyway on the head. Right the whole way right round. I right, just want to make sure that the eye is clean. And for once, uh, I was going to say I don't have a bit of waste wire on my desk, but I do. <laughs> it's over here. So I right, so I'm just going to clean out the make sure that the eye is clean. So there you go guys, that's just a wee simple uh, pattern that you could think about tying up the Mulraney pig. Um, like I say you can tie it without the tail, you don't have to put the tail in, you can just tie it without the tail. Um, so tie a few of those up guys, um, hopefully they can catch a few fish, all being well next season. Um, if you like the wee videos I'm putting together and you're enjoying them, and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so and help the wee channel out. And until next time folks, stay safe and take lanes.